Welcome to Revival Time Assembly Daily Devotionals. I am Jerome Jagru. What comes to your mind when you hear the word process? Well, while you process that, I would like to acknowledge and thank my senior pastors, Rev. Lloyd and Norma Hart, for this opportunity to share God's word with you this week. Thank you also for inviting me into your space. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that as I navigate through the process, I will be a blessing to whoever is viewing and hearing this session. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have you been able to come up with a response to the word process? I can tell you that when I was asked to be a part of this ministry, my thought process took off. Several thoughts and topics began to bombard my mind. So, I had to harness those thoughts and listen to what God wanted me to say. This was no easy task though. Of course, I was referred to Psalm 4610, which says, Be still and know that I am God. As the Holy Spirit reminded me also of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, where God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind the word process was highlighted. Like clockwork, my thoughts took off again. I thought of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, particularly due to the fact that last week we would have commemorated Resurrection Day. That is where Jesus came to earth in the form of man, and in the fullness of time, he was beaten, crucified, died, and rose from the dead on the third day. That was all good, but did you know that Jesus had to undergo a process before actually dying? For me, when I think about the word process, the words work or effort comes to mind. Even Jesus had to exercise a lot of effort as prior to his betrayal, whilst in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed and asked, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Simply because he knew exactly what was about to happen. However, he was able to refocus on the objective and continue the process. What would you have done if you were in his position? In the book of Isaiah, it speaks to God's ways and thoughts being higher and different from ours. Every day in our lives, we, will, we all go through some kind of process. Sometimes it is known to us, and other times it is unknown to us. A few examples are the communication process, thought process, even processing plans. There is a process to acquire your passport your national identification card, your bank account, even school registration, your birth and death certificates. Of course, you will most likely not be the one collecting the death certificate. But we as believers are not exempt from processes. In fact, the Bible says that the trial of your faith works patience. Therefore, we are expected to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding in order to get through our processes. If we do not follow the correct process, the outcome may not be what is desired. Just as Jesus had to pray and ask, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done, as we go through today, let us keep that same prayer in our hearts. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Tomorrow, 
we will look at how policies and procedures affect process.